I don't even know what to expect here, right? You know what the only thing I'm expecting? Wolf Among Us season two? Well, that's definitely not my, you, that you're, 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 you're preaching to the wrong choir on that one. I think there's, we're gonna get another 99 game of some kind, right? I think that's actually gonna happen. Uh, today might be the dawn of like another 99 game of some kind. And I really hope that's true. But outside of that, I think today Simmons gets what he's been wanting forever, right? I think today's actually the day of Simmons reckoning. Uh, I think he's going to get his, uh, his Xeno shits. I think, I think Xeno shits is definitely in, uh, in the perspective of a reality and he might be Xeno shit on. I mean, I'm already preemptively happy for him. Um, another Mario Kart? That'd be bold. Um, I don't think we're gonna see anything else on Metroid. I don't think we're gonna see anything on Metroid Prime 4. I think it's still, so till, so till, still too soon for that. F-099, more Sunbreak stuff? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo usually gets all the Sunbreak, um, all the Sunbreak Announcements, any fighting games? Uh, very low likelihood. House of the Dead, very good chance. That's supposed to be coming out soon, right? In fact, I think this this is the chance for House of the Dead to show up. And arguably that might be the biggest game for me, right? If House of the Dead is does show up here, House of the Dead Remake, that might actually be the biggest game for me because I don't even know how that game's gonna play. Like, how are they gonna do light gun controls in that? Yeah, no big expectations essentially leads us to a situation where you can sort of be excited by small stuff, you know? And um, House of the Dead, House of the Dead is a small thing for me, and it's but that's really big. House of the Dead is arguably my favorite light gun game ever. Any bets for something Smash related? Bruh. Damn, Smash fans. Are we already that? Damn, Smash fans. Are we already trying to fill that void? Boong. Yo, Raygun, thanks, man. Are we just gonna jump right into the trailers? I'm gonna guess this is Fire Emblem without having any preconceived information or no. Isn't there like a Fire Emblem Musuo game coming out soon? And wow. Okay. Okay. The cycle of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. <laughs> I seek to destroy Look the at all of <laughs> Here, here is an impressive the display of about 70 past. enemy characters this doing the same the reeling the attack animation. <laughs> I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real at 15 frames per second. All right. Yeah, Musuo means a Dynasty Do Warriors light game. For a miracle? Or and yes, uh, pretty much those Zelda Musuo games did very well. People very much bought them. We shall fight. So of course, we, shall we need the and Mario Musuo. That's what we need. We need like Mario's pissed and he's going to jack everything up. Won't make the same mistake again. Revenge is not a sin you yeah, Age of Calamity was the sequel to the one that was before it, which was the, uh, the, 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 the Wii U version. And heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. Oh, I'm so ready. Hmm. I am so ready. My body was ready. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the trailer for the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes game. Three Hopes. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. Three House. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes. I'm glad they didn't spend that much time on that. The Orange Star Nation needs you. Or Advance Wars? 
We've got more intel. Or, what are they calling it? Switch Wars? Wars? No, they're still campaign. calling it Advance Wars, which is in funny. Because it was called Wars. that because it was on the Game Boy Advance. Commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant. Then this is great looking. Battles. Holy hell! Each commanding officer is now voiced. Jeez. Bringing even more charm to these. Damn, this presentation though. See, this like game, I didn't play this game because it was like in a, in a time frame where I just would not play a Game Boy Advance. But jeez, was it popular. I was in this, I was working in a store when it debuted. So it was like always sold out. In both campaigns, but damn, this presentation though. And reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with Who was putting this together? Was it, uh, it wasn't way forward, right? Create and share custom maps in the design room. I can't remember which dev was doing it. Frenemies in local and online. It, it was way forward. Okay, well, it's definitely got that charm, right? It's definitely got way forward stamp. Two reboot camp marches onto the Nintendo Switch system April eighth. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. That's cool that that's coming back. I'd imagine way forward push for that pretty hard. Explore an infinite universe. No. In No Man's Sky. Every star is the light of a distant Wait a minute, I was about to say. Uh, no Man's Sky on Switch? Planets teeming with life. Travel to planets of your choosing in this infinite, procedurally generated universe. Here, wow. you'll discover I was thinking it was going to be a different game. Lands and creatures that have never been seen before and may never be seen again. The hell are you riding, bro? You must craft your own tools and even your own place to live. Well, that's in impressive they get this running on a Switch. Universe. Trade convoys travel between stars. Factions vie for territory. Pirates hunt unwary travelers. And the authorities are ever watchful. Your journey may be fraught with danger. And actions have consequences. Traitor. Fighter. Explorer. How will you live in this universe? No Man's Sky lands on Nintendo Switch this summer. We just played this shit, dude. Oh my god, they're bringing back Mario Strikers. And we just played it and it was fun as fuck. We no kidding, like... Not even that long ago, just played this game, and we're like, damn, this game's fun. Arguably, the, one of the best Mario sports games there is, next to, like, Toadstool Tour, in my opinion. And it's got the same art style? Wow. Mario Strikers Battle League. That's gonna Prepare sell very well. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it, hopefully it controls and plays similar to... The one that we that we last played. What, what was it on? Did we play it on Wii? As well as by using tackles, items, and crushing special shots. That's cool looking. Wow. I think we might have played the GameCube one. Is to rule the field. It was very fun. More goals than your opponents. Mostly because like. I don't think any of us really know much about soccer, but it just felt like it all made sense, you know? I think, like, mechanically, gameplay-wise, it just felt good. Damn, Mario straight looking like Mega Man in number two over there. It's like an arcade soccer game? Yes, it is. And it, it, the old ones controlled very well. They were quite fun. And charge it while your opponents are distracted. Oh, this is really cool. Holy crap. Those cutscenes are badass. You get these like hyper anime manga cutscenes. Four players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. In addition to individual matches, okay. online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or join an existing one owned by other players. Try to become the world's top club. Sort of confused by that. Is there, is there normal online multiplayer? Tackles. Like, 
sniper strikes. I actually have several Anything questions. Goes on this field. Mario Strikers Battle League. They're like Launches online on clubs. Switch, June 10th. Are those begin today Are we talking like Nintendo 8 players e playing in one match at the same time? I have several questions. The latest iteration of the Mario Strikers series is coming to Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this Anything Goes Battle Soccer game. Next, please take a look at this. Look at something else. Damn, already on a roll. I was about to say it's Splatoon. I was already going to say it's Splatoon. Like, just from the helicopter. Splatoon is my favorite, um... Squid Kid related game there is. I don't think of any games that make you a squid or kid. I think all of them fail brutally except for this one. This one uh, is a triumph in the Squid Kid Olympics. Bloodborne, you're a squid baby in Bloodborne chat. Jesus. Pay attention. This is like a campaign mode. Just say you hate Splatoon. Chat, just because you guys hate Splatoon so much doesn't mean you're going to get me a part of that Splatoon hate train. I think the combination of Squid Kid and anime is the best combination you possibly could have in anything ever. Trumping that of Marvel vs. Capcom. In fact, there's no reason to play the new KOF or any other fighting game when you can be a squid, kid, and anime together. Go buy the game at full price right now. Go pre-order the game. Waiting for the check to clear, hold on a second. Thrilling and captivating Squid Kid Adventure. For the co-op mode in the Splatoon 3 game, the next wave of Salmon Run. A giant salmonid, one that's never been seen before, was also spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octolings ink or swim? Splatoon 3 will launch this summer. We hope you'll look forward to future updates. See, they did not immediately cut to an eSports event featuring Splatoon 3, so I'm completely fine with it. We're just moving right along. Fonzers at the ready. Fonzers? Wanzers? A full remake of the first front mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. In this tactical RPG, you'll pilot what? weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. Gain the upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. The first one? <laughs> various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. Huh. Uncover the great storyline of this classic when Fascinating. Front Mission 1 Remake the very first on one, Nintendo yeah. Switch this summer. Okay. And in the future, the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo Switch. Okay. Weird. Okay. Get set for a high-octane Disney and Pixar combat racer. What? <sighs> From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip-roaring racing action across Disney and Pixar-inspired racetracks. Well, there's your new Mario Race Kart. a legendary roster of characters on high-speed circuits, using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. 
Choose Mickey Mouse for symphonic speed. Eat Sorry, shit, Pluto! Power, <laughs> or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Is this coming out on other things? The tables at the last second. This definitely does. There's a Disney lot of Speed effects Storm going on in these in game. this footage. New seasons added regularly. Is this coming? This is definitely coming out on other Pixar things. Characters, circuits, carts, and more. Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Yeah, I'm going to say it probably is. Right? Dive into these classic franchises on Nintendo Switch. Classic franchises. Unleash the power of the Force in this classic what? Star Wars action adventure. What? They're re-releasing Force Vader's Unleashed? What the shit? You'll use devastating Force powers and lightsaber combos as Why does it not look Jedi Masters on iconic planets? Why does it abilities like force look like the Wii version? Repulse, then combine them for it doesn't look like the PC combos. version. The old PC Use version. Controls or opt for motion controls yeah, they're using. From the they're using the Wii version of the game. Holy shit! To determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. Star wow. Wars, the Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. How funny. The complete saga of legendary assassin Ezio the guys that are making Auditorium Old Republic? Frenzy, How funny. Three critically acclaimed assassin's yeah, it looks games. worse than like the Xbox 360 Explore version, Renaissance but that's because they're, they're, it's a Wii, the Wii version up res. Interact with historical figures and discover secrets of the creed across three games, two bonus short films, and DLC. Plus, take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, an optimized on-screen display. Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPG battles. Strange <laughs> SD Gundam. Breaks are occurring okay. across the Gundam universe. Find out what Tell Shakespeare he's a hack. <laughs> You'll lead three mobile suits in battle. Enhance each suit with parts to improve their power. You can also battle alongside friends in online co-op multiplayer. SD right. Gundam Battle Alliance launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Weird. Those are three. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. A remaster of the acclaimed RPG. There Fall it is. Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. And there One it is. Day, the protagonist Surge wanders into an alternate. Wow. World. Though it somewhat resembles his home world. He finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? Travel back and forth. It's a good looking up, Rez. To unravel the story. Over 40 characters can join your party. Depending on the choices you make, the allies who accompany you, and the endings that trigger. Oh my god, is it still, it still has like the, a number the of bad frame rate? <laughs> they, they kept the bad like frame the rate? What? To enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Like this game's beautiful, right? On on PlayStation, Plus, we played it several times. Originally um, but it has a notoriously and hilariously experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. Text game. Chrono Cross, the Radical um, Dreamers edition. It runs at a hilariously funky frame rate when Nintendo action Switch kicks up. So the weird thing is that they kept the funky frame rate. Shop. But it's it's like a turn-based RPG, so like who what who cares? Let the consumption begin. They said I could be anything, so I became a truck. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3 I think this game needs adventure. a permadeath mode. Kirby and the Forgotten right? Land. I think it would be great if if Kirby, like the cutest, most like approachable, friendly game for anybody ever, had like a permadeath mode where it's brutally hard, and if you die, it's over. Like, give me some insane difficulty type thing. Mouthful mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. 
A vending machine to attack with juice cans. Or become a piercing cone. This has officially become a fetish game. Today was the day. Mouthful mode, new actions will be it was only rumored that Kirby was a fetish character. And now it is absolutely confirmed. This is it. With new moves, this is appealing to an entire demographic that was not Kirby there before. Even there and there it is. Like this. Then all the new fan art and fan fictions and began. Waddle D's. Waddle D Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. It's a very specific fetish chat, but they've been laying in wait for millennia for this moment. They're like vampires. They couldn't go outside. They were just waiting for this moment. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. Are you kink shaming me? Yes, that's literally my kink. Have we not established this? My kink, my kink is kink shaming people. What? Shut up. Some copy abilities Are you kink shaming my kink shaming? Forms. Shit. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? This is about as close to Dark Kirby Souls as you possibly can get. Launches on the Nintendo Switch right? system. We're getting closer and closer to Kirby being orders are available now its Nintendo own thing in like Dark Souls. That was Kirby and the Forgotten Land, launching later next month. All right. Please look Fascinating. forward to its release. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch Damn. Headlines. Nintendo firing on all cylinders today. Nintendo Direct, you are Nintendo Are you real? That's a real, that's a real person. He's not digital. That's right, Otani son. MLB the He's real. show is coming to Nintendo Switch. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty on your Nintendo Switch. But that's not all. You can even play Exhibition with a single Joy-Con controller. With cross-progression, you can also earn and use content on any platform where MLB The Show 22 is available. And take your progress on the go with you on Nintendo <laughs> this Switch. This announcer. Have friends that play MLB The Show Ask 22. Ask your friends to play the game. The go consoles. buy the game. No Get some popcorn. Worry. Sit down. Have a buy good time. And play online. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. Shit. <laughs> You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. <clears throat> Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. From Kingdom Hearts to Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind DLC, every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected to the internet. Relive or get to know these heart-filled adventures alongside Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, or handheld mode. Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece for Cloud, containing all three game collections. Source they need a logo Nintendo for that. Switch why don't tomorrow. they get a... Why does Cloud version Each remind... They need Integrum Neptunia versus Cloud Edition. E I want a logo for that. Klonoa is coming to Nintendo Switch. One? Across dreamy side-scrolling levels, you'll run, jump, and hover while firing wind bullets to grab and One? throw enemies. Use each level surrounding to your advantage. Wow, he just said it. Also, Klonoa 2 is Wow! Take on these great adventures when wow. Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series launches on Nintendo wow, Switch. Wow, classic July PlayStation 8. games. Wait a minute. Didn't these? Didn't they also We're come out on so glad you're here. on Wii? I could have swore we got a Clonoa game of some kind. Either way, you're in for a puzzling treat. In these award-winning games, the portal gun is your key to surviving imprisonment in a mysterious lab. We NGBA did. Gotcha. I remember seeing it on other things than just the old PlayStation. Cake? <laughs> Still unconfirmed. You can pass through portals, and so can cubes, lasers, and robots with unnerving levels of personality. The sequel adds in local, online, and split-screen multiplayer modes, 
And that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move. When Portal Companion Collection warps onto Nintendo Switch, there's a lot Switch of ports coming to Switch in this, in this direct, man. A classic comes alive. Like this is this the Switch has become Portland, USA. I was about to say wild arms or some shit. This never came to the U.S. Is it an old RPG? Released outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut. I was gonna say Live Alive. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory: A tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. Imperial China, a kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. Twilight of Edo, Japan, a shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? You will repay my loyalty. These HD 2D games are starting to get pretty, pretty all over the place. Launches on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. All right. How was that? Next up is this. <laughs> How was that? Here is this. Uh oh, he's swinging something. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. I was about to say Wii Sports. Nintendo what? Switch Sports. Please take a look. Here are the sports included in the Nintendo Switch Sports game. You might recognize these three from past Tennis Wii and bowling? Games. Tennis. Rally by gently swinging the Well, this is just a Yo Video Games right game time. came to life. This is just bowling. We just made a game Bowl for your video games or give specifically. And Chambara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. Plus, Chambala? three additional sports are joining the lineup. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform diving headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to uh -oh. the leg strap accessory it begins. included with the physical version of the game, Hiya! you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Badminton. Ooh. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots. Badminton is so hilariously fun in real life. <laughs> like, Finally, you have to move your volleyball. ass off, but it is Use really damn fun. To serve, bump, set, and spike the ball. Okay. All right. Yes. The game supports local play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch system, as well as online play across all sports. Six games? Play against friends online. Six? Or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Boxing is too Try violent. on this challenge. Six games? How was that? Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi! Oh, hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. So, 10 bucks wow, per minigame? I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. I've got plenty of space around me as well. All right, let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. <clears throat> All right, oh, we're doing this? Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport in Nintendo Switch Sports. What can we expect today from the Takahashi Koizumi team? It's Koizumi to serve. 
with Takahashi up front. We begin with Koizumi serving. How will the opposing team react? Takahashi makes the block. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. A setup in the air, and here comes the spike. The other team saves it and fights back. Ah, and they score. Takahashi didn't quite get it in time. All right, well, it's okay. It's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives it. Takahashi sets it up. And Koizumi spikes. But it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. Now's their chance. They get the ball. And with a setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores. They got a point with that fierce spike. Woo. Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. All right, I'll be leaving now. Man, I'm glad that didn't last very long. Oh, that was an man. Introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. You should feel the physical the detriment that spinning a chair does when it comes to these uh, live casted esports slash sports sequences in conferences. You can use the accessory to play Literally. Literally the most damaging thing uh, humans can be subjected to. I carried the weight of all of the pain on your shoulders in those chair spins. I did it for you guys. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. We'd definitely like to ask for your help with this. The online playtest will only be available to players with an active Nintendo Switch like 10 days. online membership on the dates shown on screen. Rollback dead code? Please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. I don't, I don't think anybody in Thank you. Nintendo directly has said the word rollback netcode, like at That's EAD all I Japan. Have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Get those Taiko drumming skills ready. The latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for Taiko drums, you'll strive to become a Taiko master along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And that's not all. An orchestral version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's 76 songs total. Plus, take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times as you'd like. New modes have also been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live But will you release the damn bongos? Donchen Band. Or Will there be each other in great a bongo accessory? War. Drum to your heart's content when Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Where's Plus, the bongos? A paid in-game subscription service that gives you access to over 500 songs will be available at launch. What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> tactical RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost here. 70 songs for free for buying the game. Noah and his allies Rest will be engulfed in the conflict you. among three nations. Your choices and conviction will determine their fate. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly Is this salt and iron? By which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter 3 will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Fantastic. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC, Cuphead, The Delicious Last Course. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle. Defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities. When is this coming out again? Wilder attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down fearsome foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, The Delicious Last Course wallops its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. June. Okay, so we have a few months. A free update is coming to the Metroid Dread game. All it takes is one hit. What? 
even from this. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal dread mode difficulty. Can you face this new challenge? And for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. So super easy. This free update launches later and today. Insanely hard mode? A second free update in April will add a boss rush mode in which you'll battle bosses continuously, one at a time. Wow, that's pretty cool. Holy hell, dude. Something's bound. It's not like a huge Nintendo DLC Switch. expansion, but at least it's like expanding upon the modes available. Birthbound, Earthbound. Oh, Earthbound. There you go. Birthbound. That's what you guys, you guys got, finally got, uh, you got it on classic. There you go. That's what you wanted, right? This is, this is the one you wanted. This is Mother 3 chat. There you go. This is it. This is what you wanted. This is the one. Nothing else. Only this one. Are they going to do all of them? Uh-oh. Are they actually going to... Are they actually going to finally do all of them? Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be added Not quite. to Nintendo Switch Online later today. Today! It was so close. You guys were so close. I heard about Mother 3 for so many years. You guys were so close. What is this crazy ass looking game? Oh, this is a Sega, Sega published game? Hmm. Lego Brawl. Wait a minute. Is this a Lego Smash game or is it a beat em up? It's a beat em up. Sega with the weird ones. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series. You assholes! Them as paid downloadable content. Remastering? This trailer. You assholes! Just fucking put out a new Mario Kart. Come on! I hate to break it to you, Nintendo, but this game was already a remaster. Right? What? If they just look a little bit better? Paid DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Are they new new? This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Are they new new? You may recognize They're new new. from past Mario Kart games. Oh, they're old new new. They're old dank. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2020. Wow, they're what? Courses such as wow. Coconut Mom. Okay. Chaco Mountain. Wow. Okay, okay wait, I'm, I'm going to take it back. And Tokyo Blur will be included. I might in have the called them wave. basic bitches too early. Of course. You can play these courses locally and online. Huh. So they're essentially uh, Smash Brothersing 
what they should be doing for Smash Brothers to Mario Kart. The first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass will launch March 18th. Huh, Pre-order you should be doing this to Smash today. Brothers. A Nintendo eShop. Just revisit it for the you end of to the end of time. DLC at no additional I mean that's cool. I'm actually Switch that's actually Plus kind of exciting. Membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. Yeah, I think it's 25 bucks per chunk of courses, so it's going to be like How was that? a lot of money. I hope you're looking forward to the additional courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't think it's 25 for all of them. Will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Oh, is this? Are we getting Xeno shit on the face? Fighting in order to live. Oh, these are some. This is some Xeno shits. And living to fight. Oh, this is definitely some Xeno shits. That's the way of our world. Ionia. That doesn't look like House of the Dead to me. Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. I knew it. I saw this coming. You are. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try, try to move forwards again. How can our lives be so snapping little to you? They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. Sword Mart, the man pierced by a great Dang, sword. Dang, this is... I, I, it's, I predicted correctly. Simmons got exactly what he wanted. The real enemy. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you solve it all alone. What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It will never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock, it has to go. Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without a trace. Please, please actually be called Xeno shits. Like, all balls. Call it Xeno shits. Shit. Three. <laughs> well, there you go. Simmons dream game. I'm sure he's flipping it. Uh, I'm sure he's flipping his shit right now. He's flipping his Xeno shit. He got that Xeno shit right on his face. He's like, yes, give it to me. Damn, and it's not even that far away. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles. No House of the Dead, though. The Come on. The depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it will launch this September. I hope you'll look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh! Thank you for watching. Where's my game? Man! Where's my game, man? Hey, don't leave, man! Ah! Oh! Where's my game, man? Ah! Oh! Man! Where's House of the Dead, man? What's going on? Anyway, that didn't seem too bad, right? That actually seemed like a, like nothing directly for me, but some pretty exciting things were in there. You know, they, uh, updates to games that definitely didn't think we're going to get updates. There was uh, a new damn Mario Strikers game is coming out. There's a lot of really exciting stuff in there. I, I, I wish I was more excited about the sports game. The sports game seemed like, dang, this is going to be great for your video games type stuff. And it's like only, only like a few games. I felt like that could have been like a big win, but it, it seemed very dry after, uh, after we saw like Mario Strikers and stuff like that. Either way, like I don't feel it was a bad direct because there was a lot of stuff in there. It just wasn't directly uh, aimed right up my ass, which is fine. Things don't need to be aimed and procced and, and laser sighted right up my ass. I want to see that Mario Kart announcement again. Hang on a second. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Is it, is it, if, it's, if it's $25, for all of the courses, for like 48 courses, then that's an extremely good deal, I'd say. I think that's like, this is actually, I was premature in calling them, you know, bitches because it seemed like they were saying they were just going to remaster some of the, like the existing courses. No, that's actually kind of amazing. It's the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Yeah, 48 courses is basically a new game, even, even if they're old courses. Yeah, so this is, this is coming across like it's in the same font. 
it's in the same colored text, right? This is coming across as like, this is a statement right here. And here's when the first chunk comes out. So to me, it seems like all six waves, yeah, are actually 25 bucks. I don't think it's 25 per wave. Yeah, well, you're right. Waves one through six, 48 courses with this exclamation right here, right? Yeah, that's actually quite good. You know, I was giving him shit a little too early on that. That's actually quite good. When you think they'll show Breath of the Wild 2, not till E3. I don't, I think you're gonna have to wait till middle of the year. E3 timeframe. I'm not saying E3 will be the event because E3 probably isn't even happening, but uh, you're probably not gonna have to wait till the middle of the year for that to actually show up. Yeah, this was a pretty decent direct in my opinion, right? There was a lot of updates to stuff. It was, Disney speeds I forgot this was announced. It was like, there was so many ports that it was insane. So many ports that it was absolutely ridiculous. Rate it. I'd actually give it like an eight, you know? I'd say that this is like, there's a lot of stuff coming out on Switch this year. This is what this has sort of like told me. Is it all going to be games that I want to play? Not at all. But there's a lot of things that the fact that they exist is very cool. None of these are games that I actually want to play. Like, well, I might check them out with your video games or something like that. But there was a lot of stuff in here that I think uh, covers the, the full spectrum of what could be on the system and what fulfills the library for a year. I think it's quite good.